start thinking of yourself as being part of that bigger story that you're calling us to, what's the right way to, like, what's the right posture to begin in? People say, you know, and then I discovered my parents were just people. And I imagine when they say that, that they are beginning to experience like maybe curiosity or there's some kind of thing that cracks them open. But what kind of, how does one begin, I suppose? I mean, I think one of the ways in is to think about it with curiosity, like, you know, what I'm feeling and how I am and what I understand and the beliefs I hold, they didn't start with me. Like, look up and look yeah. across and look and see what has been passed down from generation to generation. Yeah. And what am I holding that is no longer really mine with this idea that the difficulty or the pain of one generation, if it isn't dealt with in that generation, the coping mechanisms or each, even the genetics get passed mm -hmm. down to the next generation until someone's prepared to feel the pain. And so that we are the product of many stories. And so the strap line of my book is how we inherit love and loss. And, you know, how we deal with love, which is the thing that matters most in the world, but also that life is difficult and challenging and scary and maddening. Yeah. We learn from the adults around us and they learned it from their adults. And so we need to kind of really begin to see the untold stories, the secrets, the lies, because my one of my biggest um, things is that what we often do as a way of protecting other people or protecting our children or even protecting ourselves, in the end becomes an armor that keeps other people out and you disconnected from yourself. 